Hello and welcome to the Super Casuals. My name is Orinado. With Battle for Azeroth launching tomorrow, I thought I'd take the time to briefly review the expansion and hopefully help anybody still on the fence about buying it make their final decision. My perspective is that of a Ret Paladin playing on the Horde side. I was not able to get any time in with other classes or see the Alliance perspective. In addition, obviously not everything worked in beta, nor was I able to see every single thing there is to do, but I've seen enough to be able to form my own opinion. I'm not going to go with the typical whatever out of 10 ratings, I will instead focus on the meat and potatoes of the expansion. I'll start with my harshest critique, the leveling. The leveling in Battle for Azeroth straight up sucks. The vast majority of players will be starting at the Legion level cap and on their grind to Battle for Azeroth's level cap, they will receive absolutely nothing new. There are no new class abilities. You do not get a new talent row at max level. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. As you level, your character's combat ratings like haste and crit will downscale, making you significantly weaker and the monsters gradually get more powerful. As a result, you feel weaker as you level, not stronger. And because monsters level with you, there isn't a damn thing you can do about it. I believe that this is just going to further push people to rush, rush, rush to max level. Even more so than people already do. The sooner they hit max level, the sooner they can start getting dungeon and raid gear and stop their characters from feeling so impotent. Next, I'll tackle the questing experience. This one was a bit of a mixed bag on the Horde side. First of all, get ready for some serious troll fatigue. You are going to be seeing trolls everywhere. Trolls in the cities, trolls as quest givers, trolls as mobs, trolls as bosses, trolls, trolls, trolls! Great for people who love troll lore, not so much for people who like a variety of things for chopping or chucking fireballs. Two out of the first three areas are almost exclusively trolls in the main story quest chains. There are a variety of side quests that introduce some side races such as the Tortolans and Volpera, but even their quests tend to be troll-centric. Once you finally get out of Zuldazar and get to check out Cool Taras, congratulations, you've moved from trolls to humans again. The unusual aspect of this is that instead of it being the usual orcs versus humans that we've seen a thousand times before, your primary quest givers are in fact the Forsaken, led by Nathanos Blightcaller. The questing zones themselves are mostly stunning visually, with a few notable issues. The mountains of Zuldazar in particular have an incredibly boring mossy texture that from a distance looks awful. Some regions clearly receive much more care and attention than others. The Temple of the Loa Buan Samdi looks amazing. The temples for most of the other Loa, well, they don't, if they even get a temple. Zone story quest chains still end at the entrance of a dungeon, like they did in Legion, and I believe that's a smart decision. One thing early Warcraft did not always do very well was explain why we, as players, had any real reason to go into some dungeons, let alone massacre everything inside. To this very day, I still have no idea why we went into Moradon or Dire Maul, for example. Associated quests were often sparse in strange locations or part of a seemingly unrelated chain. The new method is a solid and very positive change, and I hope it stays. I did not get the chance to participate in any PvP during the beta, but I can explain a little about the new world PvP system. For those who don't already know, the concept of a PvP or PvE server is now dead. Players interested in World PvP can flag themselves through the new War Mode. With War Mode activated, you will have access to a number of extra talents that will remain available as long as War Mode remains active. In addition, you get increased rewards from doing things out in the world. Gold from quests, honor from kills, all the usual stuff. The problem is, Players are separated from each other when the expansion launches. 
All Horde go to Zuldazar, all Alliance go to Kul Taras. We don't get to go to the other zones until we progress the story far enough. Which means, when you go to the other factions areas, you are most likely at a higher level than the people there. This means that people will game the system and activate war mode when the expansion launches in order to get free stuff. Knowing there is no chance of anybody on the other faction even being able to get to where you are for quite a while yet. They are then free to turn it off later, having reaped their freebies unopposed. I predict that the vast majority of the player base will leave war mode off. If they want to PvP, they'll do so through the usual channels of battlegrounds, arenas, etc. Some things did carry over from Legion. The class hall is gone, but the mission table that started with Warlords of Draenor is once again here, as is the research tree replacing your class hall equivalent. The world quests are also back and are largely unchanged. Reputations are done the same way, with the initial bulk being covered by normal quests, and you can reach Exalted through the world quests. Flying is once again locked behind a meta achievement, and it doesn't seem like that's ever going to change. World scaling is back, so you cannot outlevel the new zones. Unfortunately, due to bugs, time constraints, and in-game barriers, I was not able to participate in the new Warfront feature, or the non-quest version of the island expeditions. They may be awesome, they may be lackluster, I honestly don't know. So I will conduct my final thoughts without factoring them in as much as possible. If you enjoyed Legion, I am confident you will enjoy Battle for Azeroth overall. The endless weapon grind of artifact power is gone, replaced by a similar feature on your necklace that you'll largely forget about most of the time. In addition, many of the positive changes that came with Legion remain, and some of the not-so-positive ones are less prominent. However, if you were not a fan of Legion, chances are you're not going to like Battle for Azeroth either. The expansion largely feels like more of the same, just with different bad guys. My final verdict. Ha! Red Paladins. I will not be buying Battle for Azeroth. The game has drifted so far away from what made me fall in love with World of Warcraft many years ago, and it may not be possible to recapture that magic. I genuinely hope with the release of WoW Classic, it will rekindle that spark. Only time will tell. I thank you for watching the Super Casuals. My name is Orinato. Remember, keep it casual. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more.